love that we're not like a lot of other children's museums where everything is very prescribed. There's just so many open-ended things that kids can really use their imagination and do what they want to. I first brought my daughter in 2016. She was seven months old. It has been absolutely magical to watch Addie grow up here. When your child is seven months old, there's not a lot you can do. At this space, there actually is a lot you can do. So we dipped our hands in the water. We played with scarves. I read her a story. There was just a lot of noise and energy, happy energy. It's a great space. And there really isn't that many great spaces when you're a new mother. I first visited the Children's Museum when I brought actually my son, Peter. He was one and a half years old, and so just learning to walk around on his own. And we spent most of our time when we were here at the water feature because he was just amazed by having a place that was in his bathtub that he could just play with toys in the water for like hours at a time. Anybody can walk through the doors and come and play and have a good time regardless of their ability to pay, even if it's 25 cents or $20. And sometimes you don't even have to do that. Some, sometimes you just need to come in and bring your imagination. One of the ways that we support kids in our communities through our two museums, one in downtown Tacoma and the other one at JBLM, and it provides actually not just children but families a space to come together. I think it's very important to support something like this because kids who don't have much can come to the museum without having to donate money, have a place to play, regardless of you know the financial aspect of it, and being able to just play and interact without having you know to worry about that, and then just being with their parents as well. Pretty much wherever you go, you have to pay ten or fifteen dollars to get into a children's museum. You know, it leaves a big section of your community out. And if we're really trying to get equality for all kids and give all kids a chance and a step up, then you want access for everyone. You know, every kid should have access to a quality play experience. And not every kid has that. Play should be joyful and play should be free. And I think Having a space like this and prioritizing those pieces is really important. Pay as you will is core to our mission at Green Track and at the Children's Museums. We think every kid should have access regardless if they financially can afford to or if their families can pay into a membership. But it means that we then have to raise a lot of money to make that happen and we're committed to that. Kids shouldn't have to pay to play in quality spaces. We should be able to provide that as a community. And the board, those associated with Green Trike and the Children's Museum are really committed to making that a reality.